scoreless innings. Well, the sophomore has truly turned into the ace. Looking for another. They did face Texas earlier as we are underway here. Strike one from Mac Morgan. Their matchup, and again, couldn't hang on. That Sam Houston's going to have to adjust too quickly. Again on the inside, a dribbler good has to hurry. The scoop on to first in time. Mac Morgan does a good job of jamming Grill right there, Harden it. Corona Gutierrez good and Simmons and Atwood catching. There is strike one to Trisha Yurotsky. But sometimes when you talk about these matchups. How about Mac Morgan? Mac Morgan attacked the strike zone early on that outer half. Former transfer from Louisiana. Chop swung. Corona on the run makes the grab. A one, two, three inning. Being been able to do solid work in the lower half of the lineup. For behind the entire coaching staff. But first, Mia Scott now with a 12-game hitting streak, bobbled by Pino, and Scott ends. ...on the bunt attempt. Decked out, their team threatening already here in the first. Scott taken off from second. And RBIs with 40 on the season. Martinez watches that one miss. She has been phenomenal with runners in scoring. Gutierrez, even the redshirt freshman Maloney, they've all been terrific on those players. Payoff pitch sent to left field, and that one's going to bounce off the base of the wall. Texas will grab the early. Became the first Longhorn in history to deliver three straight walk-offs with the offense after they changed her stance earlier in the year. Has come around, to say the least. Be really low, bent over. Not in her, or in her legs, and now the plate. It made that change, and you know I think it really shows buy-in and commitment to figuring out how to be better. And with that, All up, especially 60 to 62 miles an hour, you think. And her average has never dipped below 340. Shallow left center, and that one hauled in. But Texanics, almost halfway to your record, cat. Too tense, looked too tight in her shoulders earlier in the year. That first inning through 14 pitches, 12. Well, she's super competitive. She gets fired up when she gets big outs and big plays happen. But that mentality keeps you in the game, and especially pitchers. They've done their motion for so long that they don't want to always change it because it's a comfort thing. I think they're going to ask and see if that. And Bradley Wasik. One got hurt, was the starting first baseman. Next one came in playing first. Both out pretty much for the little bit. So we said they played a number. Quinlan starting to heat up for, that we'll see later. Second strikeout for Morgan. We mentioned right before the first pitch, she's had the hot bat, and that continues. Second hit of the inning to a board. Well, that's unfortunate for the Bearcats. They. Morgan fields that one cleanly. So the unorthodox one, two, three game of the regular season for Texas, ranked number five. A lot of people thought they could have been that 16 seed and possibly host a regional, but instead they got sent to Seattle. Off the bench. You talk about her power, but she also has a good eye. It's a walk against Oklahoma State yep. that set up. On rope to left field, Jordan Whitaker is aboard here in the second. In her stat line. And they will pinch run right for her with Alyssa. Field and Lou Gilbert slotted in there. Had quite a few quality at bats. Texas continuing to give her. Telg is there, two away. And back by the postseason. Long. What's the process of coming back going to look like? And if Corona's going to hit like that, why rush Washington back? Papel Sing on the throw to third. That will be scored a double. Low in the zone. That one over the glove of Tell. Papelka scores. Here comes Corona. And she is Scott with the RBI single. Morgan's strong first two innings. 
and immediately gives up a leadoff single to Haley Carter. Well, in the strike zone, but that's what Coach White's want. Coach White wants. And it's a Sam Houston team that doesn't give up a ton of runs. Said Brody Quinlan at the beginning of the year was a little bit down there. Good. Gilbert turns around and makes the grab. Three oh five hitter with runners on. Pokes one to right. Maloney on the run makes the grab. Quick throw back to first. Back up the middle. Good, unable to stop it. Racing around the bases is Carter. And this is to Trisha Yurotsky, one of only two players on. One turns foul, one and one. The one two from Czech. Count even. 56 games, or you've pitched in 20 something games. When you go along straight. This one taken to right center. Maloney again on the run. Won't get to it. Off the top of the wall. Run, one run comes in. Here's two outs, too. Quickly in with the eight and nine hitters, but unable. Can't afford to lose, unfortunately. There's no wiggle room for them. They want to secure a top eight. You said the Longhorns at seven. One, two, sent to center field right at Mia Scott. So the top to being able to come in to McCombs and compete and right up a blast to Leanne good off the top of the wall the freshman racing around the base and wish that wall was just a little bit shorter how would she handle this the nerves what would the situation be like she ended up throwing a no hitter and after that the coaching staff's coach Balish. No, but when you want to get recruited and you want, but it's always exciting to see coaches there to watch you pitch as well. That one hauled in on the run by Pino. Nice effort. Mike White said when he was recruited. 301. Left at one has done it again. Home run number 11 on the season. What a tear. This has regained. Their two-run lead. I think the key for Maloney right now is the fact with one out, she's the game against Oklahoma State in game three. We keep talking about her off. Freshman outfielder who strictly played center field prior to comfortable in right field and really be a big defensive piece for Texas. And offensively comes up with another hit for this year. Come at third. Maloney, we talked about her and right. A lot of times your outfield you have to move to the side outfield positions. It's not necessarily the easiest transition. Lays down the bunt. So tough to get, and they are unable to catch her at first. A baiting of that opening contest against Oklahoma. Sometimes hard to barrel up balls when you're being walked because you are such an RBI threat or a power threat as Courtney. One. Swings at the 3-0. And ends up flying out to right, but Tech. Jordan Pino loops one to Gutierrez on the first pitch. Circle to talk with Estelle Check in the previous inning. No, definitely not. Um, but Friday night, the final two games in Waco. Those two games will be on ESPN Plus. Friday night's game right here on L. White told us Texas lost, not who they added. Those new names, like Leanne Good. And just a little bit of faltering down the line, but at the same time, if everyone else is ending season on a hot streak, that plays into part of With two way to Hannah Schaefer. <laughs> Gutierrez called off by Corona. And Coach Vallis just saying a little bit inconsistent, but again, as a senior, there's Texas came in averaging about six and a half runs per game. 14th highest scoring team in the nation. There while she's been in a Texas uniform. And a leadoff walk earned by Corona, who reaches for the second time tonight. With a double and a single. 
long with that injured arm. Yeah, she's not scared to go head first, even though she had surgery on that wrist in the off season. Pretty. While batting leadoff. So you saw assistant coach Tess Sefji go out to talk to Dunn. That one off of Tell flying around the bases is Dayton. Leanne Good, one for two with the double. It, to successfully execute a bunt. This is badly there. Mike White mentioned how. You have to stay in the strike zone in Kadeem's this year. UCLA has Megan Grant. Mm. Strikeout for Dunn. Fooled good there. That ball in the strike zone. Anything that gets the outfield should result in two runs. That one bounces off an infielder for the second time in this inning. Plays that the Bearcats should be able to make. And it's six runs off nine hits. Off on a rise ball outside. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout of the inning. For Shows what she is capable of doing. Check swing, the diving grab made by Carter. What? This is everyday left fielder before she got hurt. And Mia Scott over at third where she began the season. See how often she's put at third now. That went off the glove of Gutierrez right to Martinez. The slot not so much over the top and since then she's had some runs in program history and gave up the most walks in program history in a single game. White era, you get a look at the pitching staff. Again, Texas is... Seeing Texas some issues. Called strike three, first. Hey, going back to the defense, I mean, there have been questions for you on the field. Longhorns, errorless in four of their last five, but they don't need defense there. Swept by Texas, and you just mentioned me during the break, they are losing the Texas series. I mean, right before that, as Simmons draws the leadoff walk. Oh. Win because of what they've been putting up. He said that loss felt like... One loss on the year. That came at the hands of Baylor, who will come to town here in Austin on Friday. Yeah, postseason's a completely different self, even keel, even in the biggest moments of the season. There's the sophomore, Vanessa Quiroga. Out Jordan Whitaker out. She's quickly ahead of Quiroga. Kiroga with the hit, runners on the corners. And then I jinxed her. And on the season, a 347 hitter. Runner is going, here's the throw, and Gilbert is safe. And if there's any play. An offensive force, almost the inner. Pokes one over to short. And Dayton B. 30 runs driven in on the year. Scott to shallow right center. That'll drop in. Gilbert heads home. And the long hard either. So the Bearcats going with a lower 60. Coming off the Oklahoma State Series. Terms. I mean, Lexi Kilfoyle and Kelly Maxwell are two of the best pitchers in the country. In the circle. And the bases will be loaded for Texas here in the fifth. Well, if you're Texas right now, you want Vivi Martinez, the bet there. Deep right center, a grand slam to end. Texas with their ninth run rule victory. Well, the fresh Congratulations to Mike White picking up his 200th victory. As